Hello friends, welcome back to Easy to Learn Tech and thank you for watching all my previous video. If you are watching my video first time, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification of my video. And in today's video, we are going to talk about train inverter air conditioning error codes and their solution. As all of us know, inverter air conditioning use lot of time to do the troubleshooting. If you know the proper error code and their exact solution, easily you can do the troubleshooting and make your unit work without wasting any time. And for all other air conditioning brands, already I have provided a link in the description. You can check the description and you can see all other brands error code and their solution. Without wasting our time, let's start our video and see all the error codes for the train air conditioning and do the troubleshooting and make our unit in working condition. Let's see the first error code. When you see in your display E2, it means communication malfunctioning between indoor and outdoor unit. First of all, you have to check the communication cable between indoor and outdoor if it is broken or if it is loose connected, if it is not properly connected, connect it properly and make the cable in good condition. And again you start the unit and again if you are getting the same problem, then you have to remove your communication cable from your outdoor unit and you have to start your indoor unit. And you have to check the communication cable, the voltage should be between 13 to 24 volt. If it is not giving 13 to 24 volt in between, it means your indoor PCB is faulty, need to change the indoor PCB. And same you have to check if from the outdoor PCB, if you are not getting the communication volt 13 to 24, it means your outdoor PCB is faulty, you need to change the outdoor PCB, your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display E4, it means T3 and T4 sensor, temperature sensor malfunctioning. For this, first of all, you have to check the placement and you have to check the cable between our sensor and the PCB if it is good or not. If it is good, then you have to check the resistance of our T3 and T4 temperature sensor. If the resistance is good, it means our sensor is good. If our resistance is not good, it means our sensor are not good need to replace the sensor and if the resistance is good then you have to check the out supply which is coming to our sensor from our outdoor pcb if it is not coming properly it means our outdoor pcb is faulty need to change the outdoor pcb our unit will be in working condition let's see the next error code when you see in your display e5 it means power voltage protection this is due to the fluctuation of our power supply if the power supply to our indoor unit and outdoor unit if it is not coming properly if it is not coming to 220 to 230 volt at that time it will show this error you have to check the power supply and you have to make the power supply stable and you easily you can get the solution for this error e5 let's see the next error code when you see e6 it means fan protection in the fan protection especially you have to check only the fan and this will make you easy to do the troubleshooting. First of all, you have to check the resistance of your fan motor if the resistance is okay or not. If the resistance is not okay, it means your fan motor is faulty, you need to change the fan motor. Then you have to check the if there is any obstruction of your fan, if the fan air outlet is not properly going out, it means you have to clear the outlet properly and you have to make it clean. Then you have to check the if ever your fan blade is broken sometime if your fan blade is broken that time also it shows this error because it disbalanced the rotation of our fan motor or uh, then you have to check the out supply which is coming from our outdoor pcb if the out supply which is coming to from the outdoor pcb to our motor is good or not in this way you can check this error code and you can make your unit in working condition let's see the next error code when you see E7, it means compressor discharge temperature sensor malfunctioning. When you see this error, just you have to check your sensor, no any other components. First of all, you have to check the resistance of your sensor, if the resistance is good or not. Then you have to check the placement, then you have to check the cable which is coming from our indoor PCB up to sensor, if it is cut or if it has been damaged or not. And then you have to check our outdoor PCB if the outdoor PCB is giving proper supply to our sensor or not. If it is not giving proper supply, then you have to change the outdoor PCB, your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. 
when you see E9, it means EPROM malfunctioning. It means in our auto unit, we have an EPROM in which all the data are safe from the company itself. Without wasting our time checking here and there, directly we have to change the auto PCB and when you change the auto PCB, your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your display H0, it means communication malfunctioning between IR341 or main board. In this case, when you get this error H0, it means our main board is faulty. Need to change the main board. Either the outer PCB is faulty or indoor PCB. To find this, first of all, you have to check the indoor PCB, give the power supply and check the out supply of our communication cable. It should be between 13 to 24. And same, you have to check for your outdoor unit. If you don't get the voltage 13 to 24 DC volt, it means our indoor PCB is faulty or either our outdoor PCB is faulty. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your outdoor display P1, it means high pressure protection. High pressure protection means sometimes when we charge the refrigerant, if the quantity of refrigerant is high, at that time when our unit runs, at that time it shows this error high pressure to protect our compressor. If you get this error, first of all you have to check the switch, high pressure switch if it is connected in well place or not. If it is connected in proper place and if there is no damage in our high pressure switch, then you have to check the resistance of our high pressure switch if the resistance is ok or not. Then you have to check our high pressure switch from where we are getting the supply from our outdoor PCB if the outdoor PCB is sensing our high pressure switch properly or not. If it is not sensing properly then you have to change the outdoor PCB, your unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see P2 it means low pressure protection is also called as LP switch. When there is a lack of refrigerant in our system at that time it shows this error. Then you have to charge the refrigerant according to the back pressure of the refrigerant then you will get the solution of this error code. Or sometimes when our LP switch is broken at that time it doesn't get the sense at that time also it shows this error. Then you have to change the LP switch. Or sometimes when our outdoor PCB doesn't read the pressure properly, at that time also it shows this error. Then you have to change our outdoor PCB, our unit will be in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see in your outdoor P5, it means condenser high temperature protection. In this case, first of all you have to check the condenser of our outdoor unit. If our condenser is fully choked that the refrigerant which are flowing in our condenser are not getting cool at that time it shows this error. You have to do the proper servicing and you have to clean the condenser properly or sometimes when our compressor is not working properly at that time also it shows this error or sometimes when our fan motor of our outdoor unit is faulty at that time when the refrigerant are flowing in our condenser coil they are not able to cool down. At that time also it shows this error. When you get this error, you have to check the condenser coil. If it is blocked or not, then you have to check the fan motor and if the fan is working properly or not. In this case, you have to check all these things and you can make your unit in working condition. Let's see the next error code. When you see the error P6, it means inverter module protection. Inverter module protection is the PCB in which we connect our compressor UVW wire. In 18 and 12,000 BTU, we get inverter module protection, main PCB, rectifier, everything combined. In 18 and 12,000 BTU, we have one PCB. You have to change the outer PCB, your unit will be in working condition. And for 24,000 BTU or more than 24,000 BTU, we get main PCB and we get inverter module protection. At that time, you have to change the inverter module protection and your unit will be in working condition. 